Nothing more joyous than waking up in the morning and your calendar saying 45 pigs to the butcher. <laughs> All right, time to talk about the nasty side of farming. Loading pigs to go to the butcher when you've had six inches of rain in the last week. And we'll show you guys a little bit of how we do it here. Some of the key things that we've learned is do it right the first time or you're gonna be doing it 10 times or more. Um, so we have these corral panels that we built and they are screwed together in two places, top and bottom. Don't get cheap and try to do one screw and build a solid corral in an area. And what we've done is we have a little additional cell over here to put some that we're gonna keep. So you have this entirely constructed before you begin to load your animals into it. And the uh, pigs going through this pasture were brought right down to this point where we have easy access because right here is the road going out. And so we got the trailer set up and ready Helpers ready, that's right, and red boards. So all these are very key uh, ingredients to loading out the pigs. Went pretty well, opened up the gate, and about uh, 30 or 35 of them just ran right in here. So what we'll do is sort through these ones first, get loaded on the trailer, whatever we're going to take, put into our holding cell, the keepers, and then we'll reopen this and collect the rest of them that are drifting around out here and maybe a dozen, 15 up on top of the hill. It is a livestock marking pen and need to put my other glove up here so it doesn't get eaten. So once you've identified the animals that you want to keep, um, what you do is just, just walk by, if you can get close, and just give them a nice mark on the back so we know who is who. All right, this is where your red boards come in as you're walking them up. Oh, we got our little keeper board here. We'll cut him back off, send him on his way, and a little one that's going coming up here. So you can see Laura pushing him up on the trailer. Another one behind you, babe. So if somebody wants to go join his buddies, he can go up on there too. And the red boards work really well as a portable little wall that you can move around as you're loading animals. Let's close that cut gate. see she's looking for a way to get around but that solid red board presents something that to her she can't get by get in there just like that of about 30 loaded up and heading out to the butcher so we've got some uh, keeper females that we'll go through and make a final selection from over here and just a few extras that wouldn't fit on the trailer and uh, the rest of them up here in the paddock. So we'll get the corral reset here, just close up this trailer end, and uh, load the rest of them in um, right now. That way they are contained when we come back for the second load. You can see it is quite wet and muddy out. So here we are, 41 pigs been loaded up and sent off to the butcher. So this is what we have left, uh, maybe a dozen Replacement females that we're going to keep that are all fighting over a little bit of after-party snacks here. A little apple. Uh, and then a couple smaller ones that we had kept some good-looking females from piglet sets. And, uh, you know, ones that we couldn't sell. So they're in here. So everything went well. Uh, for the most part with marking and, and loading and so on. But good lesson here at the end I wanted to share with you guys is, you know, you do everything right. Do what you can. And you've just got one or two pigs that will not get with the program. And what do you do about them? Um, lesson we've learned here is you have to you have to bring the time factor to your advantage. You know, in the past we would just run around and, and get ourselves all worked up and all hot and bothered. 
pigs all hot and bothered trying to get in these couple uh, couple extras when what we figured out is if you can just use time to your advantage they eventually will do what you want them to do so we leave the paddock up let them stay in here for another day if they want to that's that's perfectly fine but what we do is open up the corral here a little bit of food in here and eventually their stomach will take over and they will do what you want them to do so try to build in time flexibility as old timer tell me uh, I was about cattle but it's true about pigs as well is leave your watch in the truck whenever you're working the calves and you know what that what that means is uh, do not walk into a corral with some kind of time schedule that you want to get this done by X time or whatever somehow the animals will pick up on that um, and they will not cooperate with what you want to do and you will get all frustrated and bent out of shape and cursing at the pigs and cursing at the universe and all kinds of stuff try to have that time that time factor working in your favor so even if you need to set up a day earlier or, or what have you um, it's a lot less stressful when it's not a big deal if somebody wants to stay out for another couple hours and not get with the program so that's a little bit of how we're uh, loading these pigs out here in the winter and 41 good hogs sent off to the butcher so that should be exciting to see and signing off here with uh, Jordan at JL Green Farm and I'm ready to go inside and put my feet up let's go yeah I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas. Uh, after our last little clip about using time to be on your side, and here's the two troublemakers. A few apples brought them right in. And now they can go be with their buddies. So, I wanted to show you the finality of that. Just give them a little bit of time. Often you can get them to do right what you want them to do. All right, good night.